Blessed morning, friends and folks. Well, today is a very nice Wednesday. It is May 7th, May 8th. What is today? Big off. Today is May 8th. Yeah, 2024. And away we go. We're going to do Sarah Young's lesson this morning. A little breakfast for the spirit man, the spirit of woman. And tap it over your heart. Do not long for the absence of problems in your life. This is an unrealistic goal. Since in this world, you will have trouble. I guess a lot of people's misconception is once you give your heart to the Lord or you're a holy roller and what else do they say? Goody two shoes. Ooh, I hate them terms. Goody two shoes I don't. I hate. But anyways, they think, I guess once you give your life to the Lord that you're problem free. Huh. <laughs> the farmer scatters the seed. Some grows around rocks and thorns and briar patches are formed and this and that, but some falls on the fertile seed. Some of the seed falls on fertile ground and it folds over a crop. 20 fold, 30 fold, all the way to 100 fold. So what's it going to be? When adversity comes, you can still grow. As a matter of fact, adversity helps you grow more and more. In God's light, the darkness cannot comprehend. So let's proceed. You have an eternity of problem free living reserved for you in heaven. There it is. Keep your eyes on the kingdom of heaven. Rejoice in that inheritance, which no one can take away from you, but do not seek your heaven on earth. Huh. Uh, we'll see what we got here, but do not seek your heaven on earth. Oh, yeah. Problem free living. But you have on earth what you have in heaven. And what you have here on earth, which is in heaven, is the Lord in the habit of your heart. So that you can overcome all these problems where he made you and I more than a conqueror, my brothers and sisters, in the duck of the course, Jesus Christ. Begin each day anticipating problems, making me to equip you for whatever difficulties you will encounter. He fully equips us for the battles. The best equipping is my living presence. My hand that never lets go of yours. Discuss everything with me. Take a lighthearted view of trouble. Seeing it as a challenge that you and I together can handle. Remember that I am at your side and I have overcome the world. There it is right there. <laughs> and we have some scriptures here, of course. We have Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We have Isaiah 41 and 13. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, fear not. I will help you. Fear not. False evidence appearing real. I like how someone said that a long time ago. John 16 and 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. There it is right there. Do not think it, you're going to go through this life without problems. Look at Joseph. Uh, Pastor Jason last night was at Red Church. Sam Otis is having a revival. And I like this man. I heard him at White Church before, him and his wife. But he was on fire last night. Did And he said that he went to Joseph, you know, all kinds of things happened to Joseph. And, you know, people meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Joseph came out of every situation because his faith in the Lord was so high. It wasn't high, yeah, it was just so high that he knew he was a royal priest under the most high priest. And he gave his worries and cares to the Lord. The Lord delivered him out of prison. He didn't do it to the baker and he didn't do it to the, to the wine bibber. But Joseph was released from prison after they said, oh, I'll remember you surely before when they get released. You know, a lot of people, they get out of the trouble that they're in and they'll give you their word. Oh, I'll remember you. <laughs> they, they're not going to remember you. Some do, some don't. You can either end up as the baker or you can end up as the wine bibber. The wine dude, he was drinking the king's wine. He's like, oh, yeah, there was a man named Joseph. He can decipher your dream, he told the pharaoh, because the pharaoh had all these magicians and astrologers and this and that. And he said, I'm going to kill all y'all if y'all can't decipher my dream. And the dream was about the seven years of famine with the seven fat cows and the seven skinny cows. And Joseph come and told him, I cannot interpret the dreams, but the Lord can who is in the tablet of my heart that I believe in. And he, the Egyptian people were delivered, and he ended up being like the second in command of Egypt. And Egypt was an enemy <laughs> of the Israelites. 
That's how awesome God is. God, if you when your enemy is thirsty, give them something to drink. When your enemy is hungry, give them something to eat. The word is the living water, and the word is the bread of life. Give that to your enemy, and they will be at peace with you. Be blessed. You're on journey. Hi, one day.